It is very common in comedy videos that a lot of the comments are just verbatim repeats of jokes in the video, or just links to the jokes in the comments. It has been true for years. Ever since YouTube began, people have been doing this, but recently, I've noticed that often when someone tries to do it, they get gang raped with hate comments from left and right. They receive complaints from people about how they all watch the video too, and you're a mindless parrot, and you're not funny just by repeating it. People are getting really sick of it. They say it's unoriginal, unfunny, and a complete vacuum of creativity. And let it be clear, they are absolutely right. This isn't a comment worth making. However, I have three points to discuss with those pitchfork and torch commenter complaints. Point in discussion number one. I estimate that at least 75% of all people who regularly comment on YouTube have done this. It is something that's very common. It isn't something somebody does just because they're stupid. They do it because it is normal to want to repeat something that you find humorous. Point in discussion number two. Out of all of the bad types of YouTube comments, this one is probably the least harmful. Here are responses to two very common complaints. Common complaint number one. Variations of the phrase, simply repeating something funny is not funny. If the original joke was funny, it should still be funny a few times after the fact. I mean, you don't just watch every video once. It's the funniest you hear the first time, for sure, but funny doesn't just turn off after you hear it one time. I will acknowledge that they were never asked to repeat the joke, but the comment, insert joke, said in the video here doesn't mean, maybe if I repeat their genius, some of their wondrous comedic talent will rub off on me and people will find me funny. It means I'm acknowledging that, insert joke, said in the video here, was funny. Common complaint number two, variations of, you're spoiling the video. This comment doesn't hold up as an argument for two reasons. One reason being that people, you know, typically read the comments after watching the video. And two, the jokes usually don't make sense out of contents because they're just saying a line. So they don't spoil much. Even if they did, if you would have laughed at it in the video, you should laugh at it when it's in the comments. Point of discussion number three, just complaining about it isn't doing anything. See that? That right there? That is the flaw in the plan. Just replying negatively to the comment isn't making it go away. If anything, you're just giving those comments more views because people will be curious about what the first comment was. Even marking it as spam doesn't help because people can still see it if they want to and, just like before, people will be curious about what got everybody's panties in a twist. However, if it really bothers you that much and you really want to clean this Filth from the sacred temple of intelligence. That is the YouTube comment section. I got a plan for you. Day, pay close attention, and take notes if necessary. Step one, find a commenter who does this a lot. Step two, stalk them on the internet until you find out where they live. Step three, take a bus there. Don't drive there as that will involve a traceable vehicle. Step four, murder them. It's best for this to not lead back to you, so I would recommend waiting for them to be alone, lethally injecting them, and disposing of the body. In my past experiences, I found that really good reliable locations of disposing of corpses is the intake pipe of the local power plant, the meat grinder of a blood sausage factory, and the wheel well of a plane that's going somewhere not on this continent. Congratulations! You are one step closer to killing this trend, and if you cover your tracks well enough, you won't get caught and maybe help the world out by doing this a few more times in the future. If you don't want to go to the trouble, I have a cousin who will do it for you. He only charges $5,000 on a hand job.